you didn't know anything about is? My mom friend and her husband froze when I said that. It's not a matter of I didn't know, just apologize. I'm so sorry. The two of them got down on their knees to apologize. What followed was an epic battle between this couple. My name is Jun. I'm a 50-year-old housewife. My husband runs an IT-related company. We met through an arranged marriage. My parents and my husband's parents were golfing buddies. I graduated from college and worked my whole life, never dreaming of getting married. When I was over 40 years old, my parents were playing golf with my husband's parents, and they talked about their son, who, like me, had no dreams of getting married. They thought because of that, we might be a good match. And so we went on a blind date. That was how I met my husband Trevor. He was honest, kind, and dedicated to his work. He started his own IT company, and his hobbies were his job and mountain climbing. I was also in love with my work and enjoyed mountain climbing. As a result, we hit it off well and ended up getting married at the age of 45. I became a stay-at-home wife to support his hard work and help him with his business. Thanks to his hard work, the company's business performance was on an upward trajectory. In our fifth year of marriage, we were able to move into a luxury apartment. On our wedding anniversary that year, my husband got me a wonderful present as someone who didn't have children. He took out the pamphlet with the titles that said, Rescue Dogs, Adopt a Dog Event. My dream is to take a dog mountain climbing. I was hoping to foster our dog. To my husband, I replied, I totally agree. We can own dogs in this apartment. So let's go to that option event this weekend. I answered him with a smile. So we went to that option event this weekend. The venue was filled with many dogs and people. Then, a certain dog clung to our feet. He had droopy ears, big eyes, and fluffy brown fur. He was a one-year-old boy. Oh, man! My husband seemed happy. It seems that he likes you. This dog doesn't usually like people. So that means you guys are special. The clerk told us. Upon closer inspection, the dog looks quite smart too. Special haul. Would you like to be a part of our family? With that, the dog joined our household. We named him Chiro. I wanted Chiro to have friends. And most of all, I wanted to go out somewhere with him. I decided to take him to our dog park. That was a famous members only facility in the neighborhood. I was surprised when I brought him there. It looked more like a theme park. Let's play. When I invited him to join me, he ran out with a happy look on his face. And we had fun and played around until we met a group of people. As we were having fun, I noticed a group of people looking at us. My motto is to smile and be pleasant in such situations, so I smile at them. I was a little freaked out and froze while keeping a smile on my face. Hello! The people in the group greet me. Hi there! This is my first time at this dog park. I returned the greeting. Some of the tension dissipated as we chatted lightly. This group of people were all owners of expensive-looking dogs. One of them was a bossy mom, with her brand bags, expensive clothes, and long curly hair, and she seems to be in charge of the group. This is my Chihuahua Coco. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is June. This is Chiro. He's a year old. Would you like to have coffee with us at the cafe? I really didn't want to go, but if I want to continue to attend this dog park, I need to join this group of moms. Sensing this, I decided to go along with them quietly. The boss mom bragged to the entire group why we had coffee. I wondered how anyone could listen to such a boastful story. 
My husband is an executive at the well-known IT company. My husband is also, but I was responding. She interrupted me. Oh, he works for a very large company. I don't think he's on the same scale as your husband's company. She wouldn't let me talk at all. Well, I agree with her statement, but I didn't speak at that time. Erica's comments continue. That's why clothes rarely cost less than thousand dollars. After all, isn't a wife's dignity important? And when she found out I didn't have children, that must be so sad. My eldest son is in soccer, and he's learning Chinese, and my eldest daughter won a piano contest, and he's taking ballet lessons. I'm really filled with the joy of raising children. Well, I have a super hard schedule every day. Everyone nodded their heads in agreement. So I nodded my head and said, yes, I guess so. After this, her bragging went on for several hours. I thought about switching to another dog park, but I had only been there once. And seeing Tiro enjoying himself more than anything else, I thought I should just suck it up. Even the next time I went to the dog park, Erica continued to brag. This time, she talked about the dog's price tags. My coca cost $5,000, how much was Mocha? The Mocha's owner Ella said, she cost about $3,000. She's losing over Coco. Losing? What? Over the price? I was stunned to hear this. They are bragging about the prices for their precious pet. Shame on them. I cried out in my heart. What about Chiro? Well, actually, I adopted him. When I said this, the entire group went silent. What? So you got him for free, huh? I got upset over those words. I don't care what anyone says. Chiro is the best dog in the world. He's my pride and joy. When I said this, there were squeals of laughter from all over the place. Among them, the boss mom says, free? She said free? And laughed out loud with her hands on her stomach and everyone around her also bursting to laughter. I'll be going home then. I got up from my seat, feeling upset. Then Erica suddenly became angry with me in a stray voice, as if she didn't like my attitude. You are leaving before our tea party's over? Your dog is an abandoned mutt, isn't it? I don't like the fact that you take him to this dog park. Right, ladies? The other moms nodded in unison. Let me ask everyone this. Who is against this dog using this dog park from now on? Me! That settles it. Your dog is now banned from coming here. Ugly mongrels like him are out of place. It would be nurses if he put dirty little germs on our precious dogs. I was furious at their unreasonable response. I don't want to be a part of this. Are you even prepared to say such a thing to me? I took the first step toward the truth. Hum, you're a sore loser. You're a bottom feeder. Anyway, you are banned. I wanted to say something back to her. But the look in Shira's eyes said, no more argument. So I just went home. We found our new dog park relatively quickly. It was a similar facility in our neighborhood. The dog park is also a volunteer organization for shelter dogs, and it has a homey atmosphere. And I didn't see any group of bossy moms. I also made a new mom friend. Her name is Sarah. She's a reporter for a magazine, and is also a shelter dog owner. Her dog's name is Beth. We became friends because both of our dogs are FOMO shelter dogs. We really hit it off and started talking about each other's families and work. One day, she told me, I'm going to be writing an article in a dog magazine called Puppy Heart. I will be writing about dogs in America. Would it be okay if I include Chiro in my article? Puppy Heart is a magazine that every dog owner knows about. 
It has many articles ranging from dog training to fashion. Is it okay for us to be included in such a prestigious project? I was worried, but she said of course. And so, Chiro made the cover for this month's Poppy Heart magazine. A few days after Poppy Heart was released, the doorbell rang at our house on a weekend. I checked the intercom monitor and saw Erica and a man claiming to be her husband standing there. My husband looked at the monitor and said that the man was Mr. Richards, one of the executives of my husband's company. When he opened the door, the general manager opened his mouth and said, I am very sorry that my foolish wife has done something terrible. He bowed deeply. I invited them in and asked them for more details. On the day Puppy Heart was released, Mr. Richards, who knew nothing about it, was reading an article about Chiro. His wife Erica saw it and said, I know these people. She said this dog was a shelter dog and he was free. I banned her from the dog park, she said. Do you know who these people are? He turned pale. What do you mean? It's the wife of the president of my company and her dog. What the hell did you do? What? The president's wife? So that it what happened. So he immediately came to apologize. Why didn't you tell me you were the president's wife? She asked me with her face pale. How did you not know? Don't you at least know who the president of your husband's company is? But you know what they say. A still tongue makes a wise head. I don't have the hobby of showing off my husband's business or his position. I just didn't tell you on the spot. I looked at her in disgust, and she looked at me with a frozen expression. It's not a problem that can be solved by saying you didn't know. Anyway, apologize. I am so sorry. The two of them bowed down on their knees. But the next moment, to my surprise, Erica opened her mouth again. Can we go now? We've apologized enough already. I really didn't like her attitude. I don't think we need to see each other again, so please leave. I was furious, and the general manager kept his head down. Please don't say that. Please continue to be friendly with my wife and Mr. President about the matter you mentioned. He begins to say, About your personnel matter? Yes. Can you destroy it with this apology? My husband's face turned red as he listened to him. It was because of a whistleblower's accusation of improper dealings and embezzlement. My husband revealed the truth. What? A demotion? What's he talking about? Erica stared at her husband after hearing the news. Then he said, I heard there was a surefire way to make money, so I borrowed some of the company's money. I was going to pay it back as soon as I made a profit, but the company I invested in backed out and ended up taking the money from me. I'm really sorry, boss. He confessed to everything. I don't need your apologies. My husband quietly began to give notice. This embezzlement is very serious. You are going to get fired. What? Fired? Mr. Richards then looked at his wife and started yelling at her. This is what happens when I try to respond to your rough spending. You are the cause of this. I beg your pardon? I wasn't just trying to do my best for you and the kids. That's not why you call working hard. The two of them were furious with each other, and I didn't know what was going on anymore. My husband called the security company, and they immediately sent a security guard to come and pick them both up. In the end, Mr. Richard was fired. In addition, a large amount of debts due to his gambling was also discovered. Erica, now that her luxury lifestyle had disappeared, divorced and returned to her parents' home with her children. She's looking for a job, but she's struggling to find one that fits her lapis lifestyle. A while later, when I was taking Chira for a walk, 
I ran into the moms from the dog park. Hello. They were talking to me as if nothing had happened. I thought about ignoring them, but I held my guard and said, Hello. Then they said, I'm so sorry. We regret what we did. We take back everything we have said so far. They apologized flatly. I didn't know what to say to them. One of the moms was also holding Erica's chihuahua. She told me that Erica was so furious with her husband's firing and spending that she had go home to her parents. And poor Coco was abandoned by her. She was left at home with no one to take care of her. I wish I could keep her at home. But we thought you might know of the shelter. Mocha's owner says she can take care of both of them. Then, our Chiro came up to Coco, wagging his tail. What's this? I was surprised at the, at the same time. I remember the day Chiro came to us. Chiro only gets close to a special person, whom he likes, wagging his tail. Somehow, Coco seems to have taken a liking to Chiro. I decided to take her home right away. Of course, my husband agreed to take her in. The two dogs get along very well, and play together all the time. They are the best of friends. The other day, I was walking with Sam in the shopping street, when I ran into Erica. And she began to say, Coco, come here. She called out to her dog. At that moment, Coco jumped on her with a devilish look she had never shown before. What the hell? You forgot the favor I did you by taking good care of you. She talked to her dogging this way, so I responded. That's not true. Your dog is angry because she had been betrayed by someone she trusted. I firmly retorted. On the way home, the cherry blossoms were in full bloom on the riverbed. How beautiful. Two animals playing with fluttering perils. I saw my husband coming to walk over to us. I got done with work only today. Happiness with two people and two dogs. I hope that this will continue for a long time.